three. Hey guys, welcome to Pippin' and Dippin' Academy. We are so excited that you're here. You cannot see Hunter right now because he is a ghost. I'm just kidding. Uh, he's getting ready to share his screen for you, so that's why you don't see him there. But I do have Hunter, the Pip Hunter, here with us, and he's going to share some really cool stuff today. But before we do, if this is your first time joining us, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It should be somewhere along the bottom of this video here. And make sure you also put I subscribed in the comment section below. If you have any questions, do that as well. Uh, we'd love to answer them and as, answer as many as we can. And we may just have a very special gift for some very special few people that engage us there. So uh, without further ado today, we want to talk to you about something that's really, really powerful. It's, it it kind of goes in line with what we've been talking about over the past couple of weeks, talking about a lot about structure and price action um, and it, two simple uh, things the daily high, the daily low, and how powerful those setups are um, for you as a trader and how to look for them and when to properly enter them. And so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Hunter. He's going to share his screen and uh, he will get us going and show you exactly how to look for these setups uh, on your charts. So Hunter, take it away, brother. Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? Uh, yeah, just like Joe said, you know, the low of the day, have the day is this 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 just this alone can transform your trading you know you can have you know your indicators or whatever but like these two lines they represent you know and there are some traders out there that that do trade the close of the daily candle and and you're wondering why they do that well they want to know what the daily candle the previous daily candle does right and how it closed right so if you were to put a line on top of that and a line on the bottom of it and it was able to set up on it or to break out of it, then you would understand, especially if you knew where your market was going, um, you would understand what kind of sets that you could take off of that, right? Um, and the probability of you getting, and the accuracy you will be able to get is insane. So I'm about to show you um, some stuff that you can integrate in your trading and transform it, right? So I'll share my screen. Uh, um, as you see, I am, um, I love, the 13, I mean, the 5, 13, and the 50 EMAs. Um, as you can see, there's signal. I have a signal service here. Um, but um, also, we have an automation support and resistance indicator to help us out too, as well. Um, we, me and uh, Joe, use the TDI. Have you seen in our previous videos? Um, and here is the high, uh, low of the day, yesterday's low, and yesterday's high, right? Um, and as you can see, how, how it respects it right how it respects it right here yesterday's low what did it do right started to try to go up and boom broke through it retested it and she left right same thing came back up right here and it broke it right it broke that low right back up right back above it and then it took off and reversed off of the weekly low right um also you want to have the weekly low and the weekly highs on your on your chart too as well because then we're going to be your big moves, as you can tell, right? The big move from the weekly low all the way up to the weekly high. And we're starting to have a big move from the weekly high, right? So as it created it, as it created your reversal pattern here, the M pattern, right? So now you're probably asking, well, how, you know, um, this is the hour time frame, you know, how I'm an intraday trader and this is, this is going to be awesome, right? So what I'm going to do is you always want to start from the higher time higher time frame to figure out where you at where you're at in the market right so as as you know let's just take this for instance we were in an up up trend market from la, uh, this whole week on uh gu okay so and then we got our midweek reversal here and then she dropped okay so we'll take we'll take this all in consideration and we'll go to the lower time frame and hit the 15 minute time frame okay so we'll go back to Monday, and as you can tell, we got a W pattern right here. Let me spread this out a little bit longer for you guys and take that off. Okay, so we got a W pattern here, and which me and Joe, Joe teach, we love the breaker structures, right? So you got a W pattern here with a little bit of, uh, I would say that's so much divergence because it didn't come all the way back down, but you, you got your uh, <clears throat> lower high here, right? And it didn't make another one. All it did was breach it here. 
and she continued on, right? But as you can tell what it did in London from the previous week, right? Your previous weekly low was here, okay? As you can see that green line coming here. Let me tap this off. See this green line here? So it's reading this low here, okay? So what I usually do is I put a line right there. Um, and as you see, it breached it. It breached it here, but it came back up, breached it here, gave you a nice breach here with a nice volume candle, retested it, and then she was gone, right? So if you're intraday trading, this is, this is love for an intraday trader because if your entry was here, Let's just say after you woke, uh, wait for break of structure again, right? After you wait for the retest of the of yesterday's low, right? That's what you want. And the break of structure, you get into the somewhere in this area and you're scoring, you know, almost a 40 pip run, you know, on a 15 minute time frame. That's that's love there, right? In regard, you know, you understand where you're at the market. You understand you're coming to a weekly low. So you have to be cautious, you know, especially trading that way. So let's look at look for other setups, um, you know, th throughout the throughout the week. Uh, you got your reversal pattern here. You could have taken the trade here and taken it back up, right? So let's look. Okay, here's another one right here. So we get this was during Asian, which me and Joe really don't trade during Asian. You had a kind of another one here, but Tuesday was a really bad consolidation. Day, really didn't market didn't really do hardly anything um, as you can tell on the, on the hour time frame um, here we we get into Asian session which like I said we don't really trade Asian session but there was a set here okay so boom yesterday's high okay draw the line what's here it broke that broke that line with a nice volume candle gave you a retest and you were in the trade right so you got in the trade about here, okay? So you were able to wait out, you know, six pitches and draw that. It's nothing, seven, eight pitches and draw that, right? And boom, for 63 pips, that's low. Your stop loss is back here, 22 pip. So this is minimum drawdown, you know? I mean, it's, three, it's three, not- three to, Hunter, you're telling me three to one, right? Three to one, yep. isn't that amazing? Three that's to like, one trade yeah. off, of, off of just the low of the day, high of the day. Yeah, that's crazy. So, um, yeah, and then and then you get a little bit of a reversal here of a mid, uh, I mean a uh, New York reversal, and you could have taken it back down, right? Um, you got a little bit of divergence here off this end pattern. Probably looked better on the five minute if you wanted to scale down just to see it, um, and you could have taken the trade back down, right? So, but we're looking, we're 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 teaching of what it does at the low of the day and high of the day, right? Just like here, which it was over a period of time, which at the, on the hour time frame, you've seen this, right? On the hour time frame on GU this week, it's set up on the high of the week here as it was drawing our resistance area here. Cause it, cause it hit here once, it came back down, hit here twice, and then look what happened, right? We were able to neckline, break up structure we were in the trade okay and also um you know that was a two to one there no not two to one a little bit over a one and a half mm -hmm. so but as you can see where the high of the day was yesterday's high here so price did breach it a little and it set up on it but you understood and you probably could have got in that trade and, and won just a hair um you know but did it give you your confirmation here? Um, it, it did give it did it did bre a breach of structure here. Um, this would have been a little bit of a tricky set because you were waiting for the retest, right? Retest happened, but never broke your broke your neckline here, right? So this was an invalid trade, and even though you you were at a weekly high, so you were waiting for the reversal, and when the reversal did happen, right? So. Um, let's go to another pair. And like I said, let's go to G Chef. Like I said, there's two things that's going to happen on these weekly high. I mean, yeah, these weekly highs, weekly lows, low of the days and high of the days. They're either going to set up on it as far as the MRW 
or they're going to breach it and continue, right? Mm -hmm. Those are the sets you should be looking in this market. Okay, so we'll go to the 15 minute. Um, uh, um, G Chef had some awesome trades this week. So as you can tell, look at this. Look at this set here. It's beautiful on a on a Thursday. <sighs> I hate that auto scrubber. Um, so it broke here yesterday's uh high okay it gave you a retest and then it broke your here broke here okay once it got broke there you could have gotten the trade and run it all the way to the weekly high your stop loss was what 21 pips come on now look at that now look what happened as soon as that happened what'd you get you got a new york reversal right boom you got um a break of structure here, a nice bearish engulfing in pattern, and you could have gotten a trade and smoked down. Okay, because look what it set up on. It said it didn't go past the weekly high, right? Very cool. Very cool. So I love this. I love this. Keep going. Keep going. Show me some more setups. Show me yeah. some more money. Yeah. So. And, and also, guys, like you got to be aware of sometimes you will get a fa false move, but you got to be aware of how this is reacting. Like, you can can you see that the, there's no volume here? You know what I mean? There's no volume, so it's that's a, that plays a big key in, in, in the market too as well. Um, like I said, you're not going to win every trade. It's it's inevitable that you are, um, but this is very high probability sets. Even with this set here. Um, you, you got divergence, you got an M pattern here. Look at your TDI, telling you something different. You draw your neckline here, you breach a structure, you're in the trade, okay? Same thing here. What did it do? It set up on the weekly low. Yeah, it did breach here, gave you a retest and here, but look how close you were to that weekly low. So it had been difficult to take the trade. It had been difficult. Okay, which it was. See, that's that's the thing about Mondays. Mondays are you got to be careful on Mondays. Mondays are actually setting up to what it, the actual market's going to do. Is it going to continue, or is it going to is it or is it going to start a new trend, up or down? We don't know. So um, you have to be aware of where what the previous week done as far as your trend moves, counting your ADR or figuring out you know where your support and resistance are. Right. So at this area, you could have had a major support area here. Or, you know, the market's been, um, has ran its three times ADR, right? And it was ready for a reversal, which it did. Um, so it did set up in between the low of the day, or pre uh, yesterday's uh, low from Friday. And then it set up on, the, uh, made a new weekly low, and then it set up on it and took off, right? So you got to be aware of that stuff. It did give you an awesome trade set as far as breaking the low. So... And I'll also here, let's let's get rid of these lines. This is an amazing set here. And if you want to add this into your trading plan, um, this would be like, oh man, I, I deleted the here daily high low. <laughs> I'll just come here. It's not the same color, but you get you get the drift. So you get you get something that comes here, tests this same area right here, right? Yesterday's high. Yesterday's high, still at the same area. Comes down a little bit, comes up. Look at your TDI. Look at the divergence that's happening on the straight. Okay. So boom, it hits here. Yesterday at the yesterday's high. Look where look where the um, the weekly highest. That's the weekly highest. So it's set up on both of them. So you can put this in your trading plan. Like I'm only going to take sets when it sets up on it, not past it, not not you know not below it or nothing, right? Some more. Sometimes it'll play on it, and you can still take a set. But like integrate that into your training. I mean, in your trading plan, right here. Boom. Break a neckline at this candle. You're in the trade. Boom. All the way down. And well, in your mind, where would you where would you think to put your your stop loss? I mean, your take profit, all the way back down to the to the uh, yesterday's I mean yesterday's low. 
Look what it did at the yesterday's low. <laughs> it stopped there. Would 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 uh, fifty one pips be enough for you? Man, I, I'll take I'll, I'll, I'll take fifty pips a day. And then you got to think in your mind. You got to think in your mind for an eighteen pip stop loss above structure, all the way to fifty pips. Okay, so you got to think in your mind. These pairs only move. Uh, this is G Chef, so G Chef only probably moves 105 to 110 pips a day, right? Give or take. So if you scored 50 pips inside of a single day off one pair, you're winning, my friend. You're winning big. Yeah. Okay. So let's look, look here. Look what it did here. And see the yesterday's low, it breached it here, gave you a retest, come up, didn't breach. What did it make? What did it make? Ah. It's beautiful set, beautiful set. Break of structure, comes back down, boom. You could have taken the trade. 36 pips for 30 for 30 for 30. So you got a one to one on that trade, right? One to one on that trade. There must have been a, a support area in here. So that's why it stopped in that area. Right? That's why trailing you. stops. That's why trailing stops and break evens. We will be talking about that soon. Trailing stops and break evens are, are powerful. When you start moving in the direction, you start to get some pips that you know that you're at. Um, start bringing your stop loss down to break even and take the trade completely risk free. You know. Let's look for one more continuation set. I want to, I want to get a continuation set for you. All this is perfect. Um, and you got, you really got two back to back. You know. And you think in your mind, you got a you got a big multi-day M pattern right here, right? Boom, boom, break a structure. You're in the trade, right? You get a pullback in the middle of from the high of the day, yesterday's high, and to the yesterday's low. Okay, so in your mind, do you have enough room to make some pips from here to there? Yes, you do. You do, and then you're also you're also remember you're also looking at the higher time frame to figure out where you're at in the market. Do you have room to go down, right? So not only do you have a trade set there for a continuation because it pulled back, breached that structure with a nice volume candle. You get in, you get a retest, you get in the trade, boom, you're in the trade. And also what'd you get? You got a break of the low of the day, yesterday's low, boom. Retest, break of the structure, where are you in? Two positions and you got another 30 pips. Come on guys. This is this is this is textbook stuff, and only look for these sets, M's and W's in the, in, in in this set here, continuation set. That's it. Don't worry about nothing else. All this consolidation, trying to trying to trade in a in a range and shit like, that's 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 just gonna, it's just gonna, it's gonna it's frustrate gonna, you. <laughs> it's gonna frustrate. Yeah, it's gonna frustrate you. It's gonna result in some losses, and it's just it's not gonna be good. Oh, look, look here. Boom. This is the last set I'm going to show. Break of structure. Nice volume candle. I mean, break break of the yesterday's high. Boom. What you're doing is waiting for the break of that. Right there. Nice volume candle. You're in the trip. Boom. For how much? 73 for what? For 33 for pips? Two and a half <laughs> to one, baby. I like it. And if you were patient enough, you could have got paid really good. Yeah. If you knew where you are in the market, that's a hundred and forty pit run. So you just doubled your your stuff, All right? So, Joe, what do you think, dude? Here's I, another I, amazing set. Yeah, I mean that's that's huge right there. Yeah, I mean, and, and you got to think in your mind. You always got to play. Your, you got to play the psychology yourself. Like, like, do I have enough room to go down? Right? It it comes down. It's in, in, in a downward movement. It pulls back. It breaches the same structure, right? My yesterday's low is here. I'm not going back to it. It doesn't seem like it, right? Look where you are in the higher time frame. A nice volume can, uh, volume candle break of structure. You're in the trade. Boom. Go down to your weekly low. It actually made a new weekly low. So you could have set your take profit here. It still made 50 pips. That's why we trade G pairs, baby. Yeah. The G pairs guys are 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 nice. Any pair for that matter. If you're if you're just watching for the setups on the the previous day highs and lows, 
you will do very, very well, especially if you're patient enough to wait for it to retest, you know, not getting in on it early. If you get in on it early, you should still be fine because you're trading with the trend. But uh, what you'll find out is you're, you'll be in a little bit of drawdown for a, a couple minutes, but you know, for a few candles, but you should still be okay because you're trading with the trend. Uh, but you know, if you can be patient, wait for that break of structure, like Hunter drew that horizontal line at the neck, we call it the neckline. Um, then you're going to make a lot of pips. You're going to gobble up a lot of pips, make a lot of money uh, very, very quickly. Um, and, and a lot faster than you would think. Because how many times did you see out of all those examples Hunter just gave you, he probably gave you a good 10, 12 examples. And out of all of them, I think there was only maybe one or two times out of all of those where it was just a one to one. All right. So that's just one pair, you know, that's just one pair too. Now, if you're watching like four or five pairs, like, and we always recommend this, guys. This is a good little nugget for you guys. The mistake that a lot of traders make is they'll come in and they want to look at every pair out there. And I'll tell you what, you'll miss out on all the entries. And then you'll start feeling like the fear of missing out is setting in. And it is because you're trying to manage way too many pairs. You should just have like four or five pairs uh, that you really like, get comfortable with those and watch those at the daily highs and lows. There will be one to two setups every day on those on those pairs. I guarantee, I can almost guarantee you. Uh, there might be one day a week where you don't have uh, good setups, good strong setups, and that's okay because the other pairs will. So just be patient. You know, the like Warren Buffett said. You know, when he was asked, he said, "If it's so simple, I can't remember who who asked him the question, but somebody said, if it's so simple, Warren, why aren't more people rich?'" And he said, "Because people don't like to get rich slow." But the reality is, guys, if you do this, I mean, we're talking about in 90 days, if you just traded this method, you would gobble up so many pips and make so much money. You, it would be life changing, uh, even trading very small conservative lot sizes and just compounding your account for 90 days. You're going to see serious, serious exponential growth. Um, I'm glad you said that, dude. Yeah. I'm glad you said that. You know, when you say 90 days, it takes 21 days to create a habit. It takes 90 days to completely transform your life, right? So, and that's what he's talking about. The D, the, the vitamin D, yeah. discipline. Discipline. Have the deep. discipline. Use it. Um, you know, we're giving this all, this is how me and Joe trade. We're, we're not hiding anything. <laughs> we're telling you exactly what we do. Um, you know, and this is, we've went through a lot of trial and error. Don't, don't get me wrong. We, we were struggling traders at one time to so um so you're not you're not in this alone so uh yeah if you want to join our academy and work with me and joe closely um where we can you know have some one-on-one -on -one time with you and actually see where you're going wrong and what you're doing right um you know we'll have our uh, pippin and dipping academy link in the description below click on that reach out to us and we will reach back out to you and get you all set up yeah get you squared away you know the, uh hunter and i now have been trading together for about a year and a half almost two years um and together when we weren't trading we were training we were getting mentorship um you know we've invested thousands upon thousands of dollars uh, between our training between the losses that we've taken and we like to take take that and shift it as it wasn't really a loss it was an educational experience for us um and we've spent thousands of hours i mean we're talking about between hunter and i we've spent somewhere between four and five thousand hours of back testing and finding these strategies to make it as simple as possible for you. And that's in, all in our academy, plus so much more. So definitely check the links out below. Uh, the daily highs and lows, you can go and download those indicators just about anywhere. If you go to the MQ, uh, MQL5 library, you can go and download a free one. There's all kinds of them there, some with alerts even. So like you don't have to be sitting in front of your charts anytime it breaches it or hits it. You get notified, those types of things. If you want that, there's all kinds of stuff out there that are free. So um, we'll put some more resources in the, the description below. Like Hunter said, Pippin and Dippin Academy, we'd love to have you join our community. We are not looking to just explode this and just have a bunch of people come in. And the only people that win are us, all right? What we're looking to do is take a very intimate group of traders, whether they're new or advanced traders, experienced traders, and help them grow to the next level. So um, if that's you and that's where you're at right now, man, we'd love to talk with you. So definitely click the link below. 
And until then, Hunter, anything else? Did I forget anything? Nope, man. You done. You hit it on the nail. Just keep hipping and dipping, guys. You know this. Dipping uh, for, don't never give. Don't never give up. Don't give up on forex. Forex can change your life. Um, yeah. you know, there's a lot of stigma out there being gambling. It's not gambling, right? We gamble every day. We're driving down the road. Um, so yeah, guys, keep pipping and dipping, and we'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, take care.